Okay, so you want to make sure that whatever model you're using has its primary part set. To check that, you want to click on the model and then look in the properties tab. Make sure that it has the primary part set. Normally, it might look like this where it's blank. So to, to set that, you want to click on this and then click whatever part that you want to be like the root part of the model. After you have that done, you want to reference the model in your script. Um, you want to get the run service. And then you want to create a vector 3D value. If you're doing this on a local script, you want to make sure you use the runs the render step um, function rather than the heartbeat function. So we're going to start off by creating the loop that we're going to use to keep track of the actual model's position. So we're going to say local loop uh, plus, plus, uh, plus track connection. Plus track connection plus run to all right so this is just going to be the connection that keeps track uh, keeps track of the model's position right and then what this does is this this is basically a loop that um runs every single frame so if if, if a player's device is running 60 frames a second it will fire it will loop through 60 times that's what this basically does if you want to read more on run service and the, uh, the run service functions uh, I'll leave a link down below for you to go into the forms and look into that yourself. All right, so now we're gonna do model pivot to right, and then you want to say uh, C frame dot new, and then you put vec value dot value. Okay, um, we're gonna make sure that the vector um, value is originally set to the current position. So you're gonna do vec value dot value equals model uh, get pivot dot position. The get pivot function basically returns the C frame of the model with respect to uh, its primary part. Uh, again, if you want to read more about that, link down below in the description. All right, now we're going to actually do the actual tweening. So we're going to get the tween service. And then we're going to say um, local tween. Since on you, in service, uh, so, we're gonna create, so, we're gonna save so what we're going to do is we're going to be tweening the act, the vector, the vector values value, and then we're going to just um, when that tween is done, we're going to destroy the value as well as stop the connection. As the value is tweening, the loop right here will make sure that the the model is keeping the same position as the uh, vector three value right here. So let's, let's make that tween, finish making that tween. So equals and then, so we want it, you want the tween to, say you want the tween to tween like in front, right? By maybe like 10 studs. We're gonna say value equals, and then we say um, model let me actually make that a separate variable. So we'll pull and position equals a value or model gets pivot. Um, C frame dot new zero zero. So ten studs in front, right? So this is a C frame, uh, and we want to get the position. So that position, and then you want to make sure the position uh, goes to that position. So value equals end position. And you want to play that. You want to have. The tween ended uh, signal, so tween dot completed connect function. And once the tween is done, you want to make sure we disconnect the track position as well as destroy the value. So vec, um, vec value uh, destroy. Uh, and then you want to do uh, push, uh, push track connection disconnect. Okay, and then after that, you play the tween. And then you should have the result. Um, I'm doing this on a server script, so I'm going to be using heartbeat again. If you're doing this on a local script, which you should be for effects, you want to make sure you use a render step instead of heartbeat. Well, I'm doing heartbeat because I'm doing this on the server. Um, you can also do heartbeat on the on, on a local script, but like I think um, render step should be more smoother. I'm going to add a wait so we can actually see what happens. So task.wait2. All right, see, it tweened over to the position. Again, if you want to see that, 
is gonna move uh, ten stars in front. So, um, yeah. All right, so now we're gonna be doing the exact same thing, but with a C frame instead. Um, so now, like, we would want the actual angles to change of the model. Um, so again, make sure that the primary part is set. Um, we're gonna be using these two things to to show you guys how it's gonna look like. So we have the start and the stop. We want to start facing this way and then stop at this position, but facing downwards. So we're gonna again get the model. Make sure you have the run service, tween service, and then the model. We're gonna do. We're going to uh, create the C frame value this time. So local CF value equals instance dot new C frame value, and we're gonna do. We're gonna create the loop. So local track loop connection. Is that a reconnect function? Um, the reason why I separate this instead of having it the same is because if you have it this, actually no, you could you could never mind. You could do that if you want to. Uh, I normally do this because um, sometimes I disconnect the loop inside, and you can't disconnect the loop. If if you initialize at the same time, see if I do this, it says that the the variables is uh, undefined. So that's why I have it separate like that. Again, you're gonna do model uh, pivot to, and then you're gonna say the value. So since this is a C frame value, you can just do that instead of, instead of um, creating a whole C frame. You can just straight up do that because the value of this value base is the C frame. All right, so you want to make sure it's at the start position. So see if uh, that uh, value equals um, model get pivot to make sure it's at the start. Uh, let me just move it to the start here as well. Um, all right, so and then after that, we're gonna make the tween. So local tween. Um, oh, that we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make the tween, but we have to make sure we get the end, the end C frame first. So local end C frame equals workspace. It's gonna be the end, right? Let's name. Oh, that's stop. Okay, so I'm gonna just name it end just to ease. All right, so local end C frame equals workspace dot end, and then that C frame, and then now you're gonna make the tween. So local tween, and then you're gonna have the connection. So once it's done, completed connect function. You wanna destroy. Uh, you want to destroy the C frame value um, after you've disconnected the track loop. Um, to make sure you don't have uh, bugs, you can also just do like if the if the the model doesn't exist. So if model dot parent equals nil, uh, then uh, you want to dis disconnect the track loop. You can do that here. This just makes sure that it doesn't it doesn't try to change the position or change the C frame if the model itself doesn't exist. The model's parent will be nil if it's been destroyed. So this makes sure it disconnects and doesn't proceed um, to the next uh, line, which would cause an error if the model itself didn't exist, um, or if the model itself is if the model itself has been removed. Right, after that, um, we're gonna play the tween. Let me add a weight so we could see how it actually looks like when we run it. Uh, wait, not one, or two actually. And then we can test that out. See, now it's gonna, it should, oh my God. Okay, so I did it. The reason that fell is because it's not anchored. But yeah, so that's that's how you do that with, um, with C-Frame.